Hi Riders, it's Miss Sarah here. And today we're going to practice a skill that you can use in any type of writing. Today I'm going to teach you how to write detailed sentences. This is something that you can use when writing realistic fiction stories, small moment stories, and even how-to books. So when we write detailed sentences. The first thing that we have to do is to make sure to have a who, a what, a where, and a when. These details make our sentences a little more interesting to our reader. So this is your opportunity to get creative. The first thing you'll do is think of a who. This could be a person, an animal, or a thing. The next thing you're going to do is think of a what. This is what your who is doing. So if my who was President Barack Obama, my action might be dancing. Next, you'll think of a where to include in your sentence. This is a location. So if my who is Barack Obama and my action or my what is dancing, Barack Obama might be dancing in the White House. And last, you'll think of a when. So this is a time of day, um, the day of a week, what year it is, or perhaps even a season. So if it's Barack Obama, it could be, my sentence could be, President Barack Obama is dancing in the White House uh, in the morning. All right. Here's Miss Sarah's example. So for my who, Miss Sarah's favorite animal, which you might already guess if you can read the word at the bottom of the straight screen, is a penguin. So I'm going to make a sentence up about a penguin. And this is not a realistic fiction story, writers. You can make this sentence as silly as you want. So I'm going to pretend that my penguin, my animal, is singing karaoke. My penguin, that's my who, and my what, or the action my penguin is doing is she sang karaoke. I don't know where she got access to a microphone in Antarctica, but she did. Next, uh, think where your penguin is. So we know penguins usually, most penguins live in Antarctica but I'm going to bring her to Philadelphia and she's going to be singing karaoke on the Rocky Steps. Last, you think of a win. Uh, let's make this sentence, it's already pretty ridiculous. So let's just bring it on home and have my penguin singing in the middle of the night. All right, last, you actually write your sentence out. Start with your who. A penguin that's my who, saying karaoke, that's the what, on the rocky steps, that's my where, in the middle of the night. That's my one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, after you write your sentence, make sure that you also start with a capital letter, like we always do at the beginning, and end with some sort of end mark at the end. So I ended with a period, but uh, if you made up a sentence asking a question, you would end with a question mark. Or if you were creating a sentence with a lot of feeling, you might even add an exclamation mark at the very end. So writers, now it is your turn. You get to write a detailed sentence with a who, a what, a when, and a where. Challenge. I wonder if you can make the sentence super duper silly and I cannot wait to read them. Happy writing and have a great rest of your day.